What's good guys, welcome back into another video. I am Jacob Crypto Barry. Today we're gonna to check out Terra Luna Classic again. We've got some critical news regarding the Terra Rebels and we've got a massive burn that is apparently gonna happen quite soon as well. You can see Terra Classic has added that zero back in. It's just chopping around, pugilistically dancing with this key resistance area, but we have got the market cap up we've got the volume up here we can see over the seven days as well things are looking quite good we're back up from that 0.91 level and we're back up to the highs now so we're getting close to breaking back through and removing that zero once again so terra can it get to one billion dollar market cap this year only time will tell of course we know that the price will go up as more luna gets burned through the ecosystem so let's crack on what's going on so i've seen this tweet here live at the mgm it's lunatics token look at this lunatics token join us as we burn 150 million luna classic generating a load of hype it's pretty cool to see this digital um billboard right here that's literally in public for people to see lunatics token you can see clearly displayed there so this is a like next level marketing right here really like it and we can see as well the Luna Classic Burn community. We have a new exchange which has actually implemented the Luna Classic 1.2% tax burn. And we can see from this message right over here, uh, where are we? I didn't mean to open that. We can see Qcoin. Dear user, we're sorry for the inconveniences and basically what they've said, uh, when are you planning to implement the 1.2% tax burn on the Terra chain and they've already processed it. So it's good to see. Um, I believe maybe more exchanges will follow in the footsteps. And once we do get more Terra Luna burn, things should start looking good for Luna Classic. What's going on at the moment? We can see again, we lost his key support and resistance. The resistance is where these green bubbles are. The resistance is at 0 0.0001. We lost that level again. So you see, this is our fake out. We've come back into our falling wedge right here and we're just back into the wedge. So we lost that support right there at the 0 0.097 level. We just slightly lost it, which isn't typically too bad. Um, but what I can kind of see here on the 30 minute time frame is a bit of a head and shoulders pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it there. We've got the left shoulder, we've got the head, and then we're getting that right shoulder just here, potentially going to break away and maybe retest the lower support range at here around the 0 0.000093 you know, level. So do look out for that because it is a bearish reversal pattern. Head and shoulders isn't typically something you do want to see, but I do believe that we're still going to maintain momentum with Terra Luna Classic as we do, you know, break out this major, major falling wedge. So let's see if we can get the reversal. Looking at the volume today, we can see we are red on volume so we're down a little bit we're not got, quite got the volume of late june so maybe we do need to work on getting some more volume here to see our luna classic pump again bollinger bands we are sitting in between so we just got rejected at that 20 day moving average as you can see represented by the orange line key rejection there which is quite normal in a bear market usually you are getting rejected at these levels hopefully we can pump back through now i said to you not long ago that we were so overextended in this area, we're so overextended on the 20 day moving average, it was obvious we'd come back down to it and we fell under it. We retest and now we're still in that downtrend. So until we break back through the 20 day moving average, things are looking quite bearish for Luna Classic, despite what anyone else says, it is just the truth right now, okay? Luna Burner, what's going on? We have burned 1.5 billion now. 0.0218 of the supply has been burnt, so it looks pretty good. And as far as this goes, this is an important letter, Terra Luna Classic community, an open letter from the Terra Rebels to the Luna Classic community, important. Please read and share. Our voice needs to be heard as a community. I don't know if I wanna read all of this, but we could read some of it, so let's start shall we on may 12 2022 the entire world was there was there to bear witness to the collapse of terror luna classic and ustc it will forever be remembered as one of the most devastating events in crypto history faced with a seemingly impossible task both blockchains were abandoned and left to be community owned and managed millions of investors were stranded and watched in horror as an imposter blockchain and coin were quickly spun up and used as pseudo restitution for the fallen coins so pretty awful stuff um we can see v21 code to be implement the 1.2 percent burn tax proposal by vegas morph has been completed and is ready to be installed none of us in the luna classic community knew that the 12th may would start us on a journey that could change the crypto industry forever but here we are about to begin what might one day be referred to as blockchain management 2.0 bm2 or decentralized blockchain management dcbm in the short time since the collapse, we have been hard at work and Luna Classic has been adopted as the native currency for Deploy Starship and as currency for NFT minting with Meta Gloria. 
So I don't know what the actual main message is here, but it's obviously for the crypto community. Um, and it's crazy, really. All existing validators on the Luna Classic blockchain, please install v21 of the new blockchain code. If you are developing a crypto project and you are looking for a home for your project, we invite you to build on the Luna Classic network. So they're trying to promote growth for Luna Classic, get more people building on it to help restore faith in the cryptocurrency uh, industry. Understanding that it's not only affected Terra community, the event itself has been catastrophic and deleterious. For the entire blockchain sector, you're talking about everything has lost value. And you could say, actually, Luna Classic is partly responsible for this loss in, you know, t total market value. Even if you look at Bitcoin or the total market capital of the entire of crypto, you could easily say right now, maybe we're 20 percent undervalued just because of Terra Luna Classic. But people are just forgetting that. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Please make sure you do join in with my huge giveaway I'm doing $200 so massive news guys all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and that'll enter you into my giveaways so make sure you sub 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 right now if you can do that i'd be very very thankful see you soon and bye for now